Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The OV-7, a tracked amphibious armored personnel carrier, has been a stalwart of the U.S. Marine Corps since 1971, utilized for landing troops on open beaches after being launched from amphibious assault ships. Initially, there were plans for the OV-7 to be succeeded by a next-generation expeditionary fighting vehicle by 2010. However, funding issues thwarted the adoption of this new vehicle, leaving the U.S. Marines reliant on their aging fleet of OV-7S. The wars in Iraq and Afghanistan underscored the vulnerability of the OV-7S to improvised explosive devices, leading to their withdrawal from the battlefield due to poorly protected hull floors. In 2016, Science Applications International Corporation, SAIC, unveiled an upgraded version of the OV-7, dubbed the OV-7 Survivability Upgrade, SU. This revamped vehicle boasts enhanced protection with the addition of a ceramic armor kit atop its aluminum armor hull, purportedly providing defense against anti-tank rockets. The interior is fortified with spall liner, and troops now sit on mine-protected seats. Plans indicate that these refurbished and upgraded OV-7S will remain operational until 2035. The OV-7SU is crewed by three personnel, comprising a commander, gunner, and driver, with a capacity to carry 21 Marines, a slight reduction from the original OV-7's capacity of 25 Marines. Alternatively, approximately 4.5 tons of supplies can be transported in lieu of passengers. Troop ingress and egress are facilitated by a spacious rear ramp with integrated doors. Equipped with a small turret, the OV-7SU is armed with a 12.7mm machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Featuring a new Cummins turbocharged diesel engine delivering increased power, the OV-7SU positions the engine at the front of the hull, while improvements to suspension components enhance maneuverability. Additionally, new water jets enhance mobility on water, where the vehicle can traverse water by spinning its tracks. With a seaworthiness rating up to Sea State 3, this armored personnel carrier exhibits enhanced capabilities for amphibious operations. That's all for now, see you later.